Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritual with Gina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys your boss's thoughts, feelings about you. I want to thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and also for turning on post notifications. As you can see, we have two pals here. So I figured you guys can pick by archetype. So just depending on how your boss acts, we have athlete here. So this is more, going to be more so of a masculine energy, and it says dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower, and strength of spirit. So this could be an athlete, someone that um, is really fit, someone who's into exercise, etc. And then we have healer here, so this is the more feminine archetypal energy. So this could be a feminine boss or a female boss. Um, passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Ability to help transform pain into healing. All right. So again, we have two pals to pick from. Please choose your pal. And again, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you at your reading. Hello, namaste, and welcome to readings, pal ones. This will be for if you chose athlete. This will be your boss's thoughts, feelings about you. And this is mainly focused on, I guess, how they view you as a person. And also how they view your work as well. Alright, so we're going to do three cards about how they view I guess four cards about how they view you. And then um, three cards about how they think you work. Alright, so we have a seven of wands here. The page of cups. Wow, that's so cute. It's really... Um, it's cute, but it's also very pendulum, like from one extreme to the other. They may think you're a very intense person, but also they really like you. Okay, so for my pal ones, they think that you are extremely hardworking. So I guess this is, this is why we have the athlete card here. They think you are extremely hardworking and um, extremely dedicated and passionate and honestly a little bit too fiery at times, I feel. <laughs> Um, but I also, they, they like that, you know, but it can be a bit much, I, I feel, for them. But they also think you, this nine of cups, nine of coins combination, they think that you are like the dream employee, basically. They're like, wow, look at her go, look at what she's doing, does a really great job. Um, the page of cups, maybe you're quiet, maybe a little bit shy, but also you have not emotional outbursts, but um, they can tell that you are a deep, deeply emotional person, basically. Um, but again, overall, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Um, I feel that your boss is like, this is kind of a dream employee or the star employee, um, even if at times you are a little bit passionate. So you have a Ten of Swords, Knight of Coins, Judgment, and the Knight of Cups. There could be some changes happening on your job long term so just keeping an eye out for that i'm not seeing this being your position but i am seeing some changes um happening down the road in this at this particular place at this particular job yeah so that could be a promotion for you or just something different altogether uh but i am seeing a change here but again like they really really enjoy you they enjoy your work um they think you are a great person so i already know what your work quality will be. So I guess we can dive into, um, I guess, co-workers as well. Why not? But we can also see how co-workers feel about you compared to how your boss feels about you. Why not? Um, why not, you? All right. So let's see how co-workers feel about you. Changing a video theme and mid mid video is so funny, but anyways, and it's going to be interesting to see that compared to how um, your boss. All right, so we have the high priestess coming in here again. So it's something about keeping to yourself, being really really solitary, or being really precise in the way that you do things as well. Um, almost kind of intimidating, kind of cold um not cold in a bad sense because it's but cold in the sense that it's very um precise you know and there is a certain not coldness and precision but um i feel that with you guys this high this high priestess energy this just gives a certain um not royalty but a certain vibe 
that you walk with and people can't quite place it and so it just kind of maybe comes off as intimidating to other people we have here the nine of cups again so there are some people at your job that really do like you that think wow this is awesome i get to work with this individual they're very ecstatic very happy and then there are other people they like they don't not like you but they think that or they can get the they believe that you're kind of just like by the book kind of cold you have the four of pentacles they don't think you're going anywhere anytime soon they think that you're very committed to this job very committed to what you're doing um and also a bit square meaning you can just okay, i think i was saying this be kind of a rule follower or someone that just kind of goes by the book plays by the book you know and that can be a little bit jarring to some people we have strength here they also think that you have a very, very big personality. I think this is tying back into the Seven of Wands here, where they're seeing it as someone that has, like, a lot of energy kind of tenacious. I feel that they're more so reading it as, oh, this person has a very big ego or a very big um, personality. And I feel that there could be some, not jealousy, but overall... Um, uh, there could be some competition, basically. There could be some some weird energy at your job so just keeping that in mind and then we're finishing up with the page of cups again so there's someone that may have the hops for you at your job or someone that just thinks you're really sweet overall your co-workers also like you but i am sensing some differing energies there um particularly this high priestess energy i feel that you already know the people at your job who you doing don't basically fuck with excuse the french but i feel that you have a, a clear line of delineation and people can kind of pick up on that and tap into that and so they're like they're not not quick to socialize with you because they can tell that it's almost like you have a, a sword of truth within you because we do have the page of swords here with the ten of swords in the bottom of the deck the page of swords and the ten of swords with the two three of wands page of pentacles and the six of swords so i feel that there's some people that are wanting you to leave this job possibly or like maybe you you are even yourself considering leaving the job considering like maybe people think that Sorry, maybe people think that you are um, passing through, you know, or um, not learning, but um, I feel this page energy is about the next step. So perhaps people also believe, even your bosses believe that you're, you are um, exceptional. And so like, it's almost like I know that she's going to go out and do things i know that she's going to go out and like do something so it's very like we have her while we have her you know and so let's make good use of her or, or make good use of them it's very much like uh very very much like i just i'm, I'm, I'm sensing this energy of like they almost want to hold on to you or they want to like preserve you because it's um i guess you're rare or something and all these pages here it also just makes me feel that they believe like they believe something about you is like I don't want to say better than them, but they believe something about you is different or special or something. Like there's a sense of you being basically distinguished amongst your coworkers. And even if you keep to yourself, because I feel that you do, even if you keep to yourself, you're still very, very distinguished, very, very much in your own energy. And so that's what people can tell about you. That's what people notice about you. Um so let's take a little bit deeper look and then i guess we can do advice from spirit actually about this sort of current employment situation not saying that you're not happy but just taking a look and seeing what spirit has to say about this current employment situation all right so we have coin support so this may be more so of a supportive job at this time and that's something that you really want to do. This this is maybe a role that you are currently playing. And, you know, it's okay to play roles, but not just getting stuck in them. And I feel this is why the page, I mean, excuse me, why the pages are here. Yes, but I was referring to the strength card. Why the strength card is here is asking you to always not be on guard, but to all like to like basically level up in your, in your career. Um, and this is probably possibly by doing something that you like. Or um, just playing a different role even within the system at your job place of employment. So possibly receiving a promotion, etc, etc. 
you have white purity sanctity innocence light and i was saying i think people and we have the high priestess here too i think people see you as a very um people see you as a very differentiated soul basically and it's really obvious and so it's like you have a certain emanation of your energy like your em energy just emanates in the building basically and so you're just very distinguished my power ones very very distinguished amongst your career path you know and amongst your co-workers and so i feel that this is the place for you to be right now um and i also feel that um more will be revealed to you about your next steps we have black especially as you maintain positive attitude we have a lot of colors here so these could be colors that you should be wearing so maybe oh, i'm sorry but we have red here too like what's with all the colors um so maybe wearing more white more blue more red more energizing colors um but yeah we have yellow here too maybe even yellow but I think this is a good thing for you currently and it will continue to be as long as you need it. However, knowing when it's time to transition because we do have there being a step up for you happening pretty soon. And this can either be within the company itself. She's so just being open to all opportunities. Um, but yes, this is what your boss and your co-workers think about you. Adding that in now, um, your boss and co-workers think about you. So thank you so much for watching my part ones. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, namaste. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, pal twos. This will be for if you chose healer. This is the more feminine archetype, so if your boss is feminine and or is a female, have feminine attributes, this will be your reading. And so I also added in um for my power ones so also for you guys as well. This is gonna be what your boss thinks about you, and then this will also be what your co-workers think about you as well. So um just connecting with the reading here So what are part one's bosses, or oh, part two's, excuse me, bosses feelings about them? Too much. Oh, let's see how many this is actually. Oh, they're too much. I don't know, this has got so complicated so quickly. For my part two's, okay, let's try it again. We have a nine of wands. So my hard workers here, maybe even against something that is is not not fair, but um, I'm seeing here like um, known situations of hardship. We have strength here. Okay, I think you're very very tenacious. They like you a lot. Your this female boss likes you, but it's from a very um, I don't know. The word musky <laughs> came to mind. Um, I feel that this person, or like this female boss, she has a cross, a slightly cross energy with you. Slightly, slightly. It's not much, you know, but I'm feeling a slight crossness in their energy. Let's say somewhere, we have a devil here, yeah. I feel that somewhere, there's something about them, about you that they don't like, honestly. But overall, they see that you are a very hard worker. Um, and so that's what they lean most into when they think about you like wow this person looks hard you know um and they also feel that you give 100 percent this is just a, this person is very like this person works hard so i can't have shit to say about them even if there's are personal things that i don't like about them and i'm not seeing exactly what that personal thing is that, that they don't like about you um perhaps we have the devil so it could be just a subconscious reminder of someone that was in this person's life previously perhaps um i feel that they believe that you are also going places in life or that you will have opportunities possibly even expand within the company itself um or situation itself doesn't have to be a company 
um but yeah this person it, they feel more pragmatic like it's less it's less sparkly you know and more pragmatic but it, it's also this very um this very like good job pat in the back energy so it's very pragmatic but it's also it does have some friendship some kinship kinship energy in it but it also feels just a little bit more um drawn back and a little bit more focused in on work quality work production what does this person bring to the table versus i like this person as an individual i see them like i connect with them it's just more so honestly professional feeling um and so yeah I, I like your boss's energy towards you, but it, it is, it does feel just more, it feels slightly more impersonal than um, my pal ones did. Anything else coming through your spirit? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I feel this queen of coins, knight of coins energy. It's, it, it's more so about longevity within the company. And I, like I was saying, I believe that this person can see you um, basically having a long-term spot in the company because of your work quality, of your work ethic. Um, but yeah, I feel that there are personal things that they, that they may, not, may or may not like about you. Um, but I feel that they are, professional, they are professional, that they've separated. Um, and so yeah. So let's see how your co-workers know about you. You can dive into that. Mm, one of one. Alright, so let's see how your co-workers feel about you. We have the Knight of Swords, okay? We have the Eight of Swords. And I guess this, no, this is just co-workers in general, but maybe possibly focus more so on female co-workers. We have the eight of wands here. We have a lot of energy here. We have the three of swords and we have the musician here. All right, so I feel like your co-workers also believe that you are a good worker. However, you may or may not socialize with them or some, there's something about there being a barrier or a block or Possibly a lack of clarity between you and your co-workers. Um, perhaps more, mainly female ones because this is the female boss. But also just in general. Um, but yeah, I feel that with you guys. Uh, there's just, there's like preliminary thoughts, you know, that they go off of. I think they believe that you're very beautiful, you know, but they can't, I don't, I don't know if you don't talk to them. But they can't get so much into your head. And when they do, they're like, oh, she's a good person, you know, but it's very much um, probably sparse communication. And it's really interesting. I was wondering in the Tarot of Marseille which direction the knight was facing, and it is the left. So I'm going to get one more card to clarify um, this knight here. Okay, we have the devil here clarifying immediately. So I feel that these people, I feel like your coworkers feel that they can't read you. And maybe you just like closed off from them, you know, but they feel like I can't read this person. I'm wondering what's going on with them. I, there's like a lack of communication, even possibly. Um, but I, I don't feel like it's like the, the, they worry about it, you know, but it's just a thing that they notice that, okay, there's this individual, they're not really talkative. Um, and so like, I feel that they like you as a person and they have overall good thoughts about you, but they also don't know exactly what to think about you. Because there, if there has been a lot of interaction, um, I would say that it didn't reveal who you are authentically. And so they got like bits and garbled pieces and they can tell whether that is consciously or subconsciously. So they just really aren't connecting with your energy, I feel. Um, and I feel that they, uh, they just feel that. This may be about. I was going to say this may be like a not a dead end job, but a job that ends for you. And we have death card here, so I I feel that um, overall the, your coworkers like you and your your female employee likes you as well. But there's definitely more I would say hesitation and or slight animosity in this particular pals group. So just keeping that in mind. 
All right, so we have here 111, 11, 11, excuse me, spiritual awakening. You are on the right path. And I also did a video about 1111 11 angel number. Do check that out if you are interested. Renewal. 666, six, six, no, 444. Four. You are creating your hard work and determination. Are you creating blessed foundations for the future? And we have Rose Enchanted here. I feel that if you stay where you are, people will I'm not say like that that they are now, but I feel that with this particular job that you're at or situation with your coworkers, as it progresses, it will become more smoother and more functional relationships will emerge. But currently you are still heading towards that. And so I feel just keep doing yourself, being yourself. Don't change your energy to accommodate the environment, rather let the environment accommodate to your energy especially if you are um authentically expressing yourself okay um and then we have grounding smoke it, your, this job is very your, this pal is very interesting and the fact that i feel that again there's more like m mystique or mysterious energy from your co-workers surrounding your energy field and so like that's kind of what they have to go on so kind of like i was saying keep doing you keep um being in your own energy you know i was saying hidden or certain things being like just not readily available and yeah i'm just feeling that you are somewhat like a mystery to other people and that's what makes you intriguing all right so thank you so much for watching my pal tuse please thank you for liking commenting and subscribing the description box down below has everything you need to know. If you would like to book a private reading with me, thank you so much. Namaste.